timing. He knows that timing. Whereas Nitro is not as experienced as T3 using that setup. I feel like maybe that's just kind of like trying to wipe off the rust of the Belmont. That too, that too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, get a, we get a little bit of a... No, I, know, I know T3 has a... He has a Terry. He has a Terry. Yeah. A terry. It's not a good Terry. <laughs> I was able to beat T3's Terry. <laughs> It's not. It's not a good Terry. Like it's. It's solid. It, it does Terry things. But is it like locus? Beating, it, yeah. Is it like locus? Is it riddle? You know. Is it able to be Charlie the King? Hell no. I. I would put money on. Like, and I would happily give up like twenty bucks if T 3s Terry takes the game off of Charlie. Well, we're not seeing it anyway, but right. we are going to the Richard Wolf, as you said earlier. So, yeah, maybe he's doing the Wolf here. Maybe he's going to try it out. And she's like, okay, this is the, this is the scenario, right? With yours, it's like, okay, he's going to go Wolf game one. If he wins, he gets a game. If he loses, then he can just go Sheik. And he knows and he knows Sheik uh, wins, his, wins that match. All right. Already in the corner, though, 50 minutes, 15 seconds in. Yep. And you know what? He got that one opening, and he is taking it for all he's worth. 70, was, zero to 71. Again. And that was just two strings right there. Yeah. It was a fair, fair, and then he got the air dodge, and then he got another, like, fair into up smash. Go down top of the corner. The holy one. Oh, SDI. Oh. So fast. You know, and you know what the crazy thing about that is that Tom read where Charlie was going to go. He had the up smash right there in his face waiting for him. But you know what? Just barely didn't hit it. And you know what? He gets called out the with the up, air. Uh, up air. The anti air with the up smash and catching with that up air takes the spot. That's so good. Such a strong face down to it. Actually, like, I don't really see a lot of, oh my god, these CDK shine combos! Just yeah. using this as a, like, a combo extender, you so know, interesting. I know CDK loves his shine combos. I do too, yeah. I love it, I'm appreciating it. I haven't seen CDK's wolf, I, like, you know, normally, so this is a treat for me. Right. Yeah, quick up, he out of shield, gonna get wolf off of him, but you know what, he still needs to edge guard him, and not gonna be able to find it, because he goes high. You know, T3 just wasn't expecting it. Oh yeah, but that bear is definitely gonna take it. Yeah. Alright, Tom trying to zone him out here. It's just, it's probably just always on top of him here. Oh, he's picking the right off. He gets a sweet spot again. You know, I love how confident Charlie is to go for those side Ds, you know? Yeah, he's been doing it a lot. It's super clean. He knows the spacing and he knows exactly what percentage he's going for. It's like, alright, I'm gonna fair you right here and it's gonna work. Yeah. Gets the bear, he's going off oh, stage, nice. not gonna find yeah. it yet. He was looking to call out Dom, uh, just, just going immediately low, they're not doing much. Oh, I look the Nair just beating out the axe right there and manages to even catch him like off guard. Oh, they both try to grab a wolf did it right before. Her. Okay, that that was a little bit cheeky. Yeah, right that there. was that was cute. Like Charlie's definitely feeling himself when you know he's trying to go for setups like that. Yeah, he's just flying right at Dom. Oh he called out the jump! Nice yeah. call out. I mean, even stocks, but you know, 126%. It's not going to be easy for T3 to make it this up. Yeah, but we know. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> but with that up smash on the calling, calling out his jump, it's going to take out the game, take the game for Charlie. Charlie. I feel like what makes this matchup so hard for for the Belmonts is that Belmonts are such combo food. Yeah, they're very heavy. They're they're heavy. Uh, they're a decent ball oh, speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah ball where like. Any combo that you can think of, it probably works on Belmont if you can get in, you know? It's not quite Rob bad, but like, it's still like, they're, they're a human character. So like, 90% of combos that you can probably think of that like, works, like most of the time, it's gonna work on Belmont. And you can probably extend it even further, depending on like, how they react afterwards. Or your character with Shine and like, other combo tools. But here we go to Smashville for game two. So we saw this actually come out from Nitro, so let's see how Dom uses this counter pick instead. All right. oh, comes up to second place. Bro, these combos have just been so, so clean. He's been calling out all of Dom's options every single time. Right, but I feel like Dom is also calling out a lot of Charlie's options too. But I feel like the main difference between them is that Charlie gets way more off of those reads than uh, Dom is. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he's the holy water. Okay, so boy. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool when you have the Holy War in your hands, but it's just like, you're kind of like planking. Oh, I don't know. I didn't think I'd get this far. You know? I didn't think I'd get this far. But wow, CDK's timing on the lead normal getup has been so impeccable these past two sets. Is that double <laughs> double down throw into dash attack? Oh my god. Oh, he misplaced the Holy Water. Yeah, that could have been death for CDK, but 
not going to be so. What does wasn't meant in the cards. And again, we can see Dom just trying to find his way in. He gets the up air afterwards. He's not going to be able to follow it up. He's amazing for the oh, up air. Gets the call to take it place again. Oh, thanks. Oh. Gets the sweet spot one more time. Not going to be high enough for Simper to matter, though. Yeah, CDK is running away with it right now. All right. Oh, just the angle. All right. I mean, yet again, he... He got beat pretty prematurely today, yeah. too, so he probably could have gotten a little bit closer and just got up instead. Right. But you know what? When you see the axe coming your way, you know, you kind of have to make that decision super quick. Yeah, it's like, is, do I think this is going to hit me? I'm either get out now or get out later. Right. Here we go. You know, just all this clean spacing, but you know what? Not gonna, oh, just barely enough to grab the ledge. Oh, this back will definitely do it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now we have Charlie up two stock or like one stock, but you know what? He's just at such a healthy percent that I, that's gonna be so hard for Dom to make this back. Yeah, he's gonna need a lot. He's gonna need to make sure he's gonna need to get like an early kill, an early setup, or he's gonna get a lot of free damage. Right. Start, that starts up now. This is where he needs to get cash in as much as he can. Right. Oh, oh no, he, he missed it. I mean, yet again, that it's one of those uh, combos that are super hard to get because you have to do the short axe. And you have to hope that they don't get pushed far enough away where Force Nash doesn't uh, connect. Yeah, unfortunate for Dom. He didn't get that shield break. But if he did, that would have been a super game changer. I mean, yet again, that, that would have evened up the stocks right there. For yeah, sure. for sure. But now he's just eating so much more percent. Using the down air, unsafe. Trying to call a jump, but since he's so low, gets him all oh, up the stage, he's dead. Okay, you know, I, I like what Charlie was trying to do there. He was trying to do a repeat of what happened to Nitro. Yeah, but, you know, I feel like the main difference is that Nitro used up all of his resources. T3 didn't. Yeah. And, you know, he might pay for that dearly. Yeah. Well, I love that, using the whip to get back on stage. But you know what? It wasn't good enough. Charlie just surprising him with the peekaboo option right there. The wolf flash. The, dude, the vibe check. Oh, my God. And I wonder if we're going to see the switch to Mega Man. Uh, I don't know. He, I was talking to him earlier today. He said, like, I don't know. My, my secondaries aren't feeling so good. I mean, that's kind of like the, the shame of having, like, secondaries. You know, you don't have that, that backup plan. Yeah, I feel like he's just going to go for the Ricker. I mean, you see him hesitating right there whether or not to go for Mega Man. But you know what? Yeah, his Ricker, definitely his, his most pride and polished character. Especially on Kalos, too. I know he really, really likes Kalos on the stage for uh, the one, right? I, can, I don't know if that's a Belmont thing or if that's just a, a T3 thing. I feel like that's a T3 thing. I think so, too. But, I mean, like, you gotta play on, like, stages that you feel the most comfortable with, especially yep. when it's your counter pick. Yeah, he already tried Smash Bros, so he's like, okay, let me try the other one. Yeah. Oh, calls off his recovery. The whips are like going a little low. Oh, oh again, the neutral get up. You know, CDK's I'm, timing is impeccable. I'm amazed at like how many players he's able to get with that. You know, that's one of those things where like, of course this isn't gonna hit, but then Charlie's just like, <laughs> I'm gonna make it hit. You know? Like other players would be like, why did that hit? Charlie's like, CDK's just like, yeah, this is hitting. Yeah. I mean, that's just the confidence of knowing your timing on the yeah. get up. You know? Like, because there is like a two frame window where you can punish that. Yep. CDK just cannot get off this ledge right now. He's oh, dead. Yep. And that is why you never normal get up against Belmont. The normal get up is almost just begging to get uh, hit into the forward if only, if only water's already there, don't do it. Or jump. But sometimes you do it and you're like, oh, why'd I do it? Yeah. I mean, it's just that unfortunate timing of like, oh, holy water is now. Let me normal get up so that I don't jump into axe, you know? I'm just trying to stall out his, time, his, uh, his recovery there. I'm trying to get it back, just mixing up his timing. Up he had a shield. And again, catching him on the platform, but not going to be able to find anything off of it. Oh, he was hard yeah, reading it off a jump, but you know what? CK not going to give it to him. Oh, yep, yeah, cross we saw again. Nitro doing it as well. Looks like Dom is also doing it. 
And I love that I know it just immediately landing with shield so he doesn't get punished super hard. Oh, I love that using the jump to kind of like bait out an option right there. And you know, it doesn't get a huge punish off of it, but he does avoid the wolf flash. So that was actually kind of fortunate that he kind of missed the tech and it kind of slid him off. So if he got tech there in second place, he actually might have died because CDK looked like he was covering um, second place there once again. Trying to get stage control, trying to bait out an option. All right. And you know what? That's the stages of Kalos coming into play right there. Oh, trying to go for the wolf there. Ooh. You know what? I feel like he wanted the dare, but Charlie is just like, okay, I'm going to recover immediately so that you, you won't be able to get that. Yep. And he went, okay, like, I'm not going to get the dare, so let me get the, let me get the uh, potential uh, let's jump instead. So he probably wasn't going to get that either. Situation. All right. Oh, that's it. That'll be it. No. Oh, wow. Yeah, no rage. Get some up. Yeah, CDK again. Just cannot get off this ledge. He's having an issue. All right. Using that top platform above the ledge. He gets out of the corner now. You know what? He finds his way in. Almost gets an up air, but not going to be able to find it. Mark. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah, you saw him chasing him down to get that grab. I love, oh. I love that using the, the wall jump to kind of avoid the holy water. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that too. Oh, but the axe still going to take it though right before he snaps. I feel like, like if he had went for a straight up B instead of the kind of like angle. angle. Yeah. Yeah, he might have had it. It was like, I'm looking for ledge. Wait, where's it? why is there an axe here? You know what? I feel like Charlie's just looking like, okay, I know he knows the tech, so let me cover the tech going off. Him, Again! Oh my god, Charlie's just so good with these ledge traps set up. Or like, not even like, ledge trap, just like, hey, I know you're gonna normal get up. Here's a 